Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So as you all know, I just posted a video about that Procter & Gamble ad called The Talk, where it features African-Americans talking about race issues. I encourage you all to check it out. I will include a link in the cards when I get a chance so that people who have not seen my prior video can check it out. So you have people, as I mentioned before in my prior video, you have white people complaining that the ad is racist. And now you actually have some black people complaining about the video not featuring black men or black fathers talking to their children. And the thing is about that point, it is that it comes from these conservatives. It's a point that was raised by the conservatives to try to deflect from the real message of that ad. And apparently it's having some kind of traction because I'm hearing, you know, a lot of black people starting to parrot what these conservatives are saying. Um, you know, and all they're trying to do is like take the conversation off track to derail the conversation about race and have people talking about family values and um, personal responsibility. You know, and that's just a way for society to absolve itself of its responsibility to absolve itself of charges of racism and bigotry. And unfortunately, a lot of people are getting sidetracked into that discussion from what I can see. So I wanna talk about this issue real briefly. You know, first of all, there are two black fathers featured in that ad. Now these black fathers are not talking in the ad, but they're present in the ad. So there's no absence of a black father on that ad. You know, so that's the first point. The second point is this. I mean, we know that the reality is that many of our children are raised in single parent households, whether we like it or not. That's the reality. They say between 60 and 70 percent of black households are headed by single mothers. So it is not unrealistic to feature a lot of black women talking to their children. And even if people are married, that doesn't mean that the black woman can't be the one talking to the children, advising them about race issues as well. Um, I think part of the issue is that, um, you know, we're, we're in a situation where we don't like to hear black voice, you know, black female voices. Like we want to see, you know, the black man up front all the time being the spokesperson, being the one talking about these issues. And of course there's a role for leadership for black men, obviously, you know, I support black male leadership and stuff like that. But I think that too often, you know, part of the driving force behind this animosity that people have towards this commercial is this whole idea that you know, that people don't want black women really speaking for black people. They don't want the black woman to be the primary voice or a, a dominant voice in the black community. So I, th I think that that's partly to at play. You know, this whole male chauvinism thing that, that goes on in the black community. I mean, we see it in black organizations. We see it in the black church. So I think that that's partly why this side issue is becoming like gaining traction or becoming something that's dominate trying to dominate the discussion when really the discussion should be about the racism in America you know the police harassment the police brutality the continued um, racial animosity and just animus I think that that needs to be the issue and you know I commend Procter and Gamble for having the boldness and the vision to speak on very important, timely issues that affect not only the black community, but the American society. So those are my thoughts on this. Tell me what you think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.